Hello everyone, I am David Roberts from the Student Hub, the principals of accounting and principals of business, better known as POA and POB tutor here at the Student Hub. And today we'll be going through the POA January 2020 past paper. Before going through the past paper, we'll look at the syllabus. If any syllabus, we look through first the organization of the syllabus, followed by the format of the exam. And following, we look at the weighting of the marks for the examinations. So without further ado, let's look at the organization of the syllabus. So as we see here, the syllabus is arranged into 11 sections, consisting of specific objectives and related content. Sections 1 and 2 are highly theoretical. This is looking at accounting as a profession and accounting as a system. So this is an opportunity for students to just get a better understanding of accounting on a whole. From section three is where the calculations will start. So we're looking at different steps in the accounting cycle. So we have the books of original entry in section three. Section four looks at the ledgers and trial balance. The ledgers are better known as the T accounts. And going back actually, the books of original entry, those are the journals. Section five, we have the preparation and analysis of financial statements for the sole trader. Financial statements for the sole trader include the income statement and the balance sheet. So we we'll get an understanding of how the this is the coming up to the end of the accounting cycle. How we we'll look in sections six and seven. This is where we're looking at adjustments and control accounts. So in the latter stages of the accounting cycle. We have something called adjusting and closing entries and in sections six and seven will deal with that where if there are any errors you will make changes and if not only errors but there are certain changes that need to be made before you make your financial statements and this is handled in section six and seven of the syllabus at section eight is where we'll be looking at the accounting for accounting records or how accounting will work for a partnership so this is an elevation or well a different perspective from the sole trader so at first is the financial statement for the sole trader and after now we're looking at all the accounting for the partnership and then after in section nine we are looking at all the accounting for liability limited liability company cooperatives and non-profit organizations from there in section 10 there's the manufacturing and inventory control so we're looking at a manufacturing company how will they keep their records and finally how will an entrepreneur keep their records so by and large what the aim is that when you would have completed your studies for the poa exam you would have a basic understanding of how account will work in different facets or and different businesses so regardless of the business so you open your own business you know how to account a partnership all the different means of businesses or types of business structures the accounting the poa syllabus will go through for you to have a good understanding of such now we are looking at the examination so the format for the exam it consists of a paper one a paper two and a paper three the paper three could either be uh, SBA. SBA is only for May, June, and those are for individuals who are in secondary school. And then after we have the paper 3.2, which is the alternative SBA. And this SBA is available for private candidates, uh, which is everyone for January exam, a private candidate. So everyone will be doing a paper 3.2 and for may june it will be in private kindness of people who are not in secondary schools you have to do the alternative sba uh, we're looking at paper one paper one we have the exam is for one hour and 30 minutes is for 60 marks paper one is multiple choice and it will the exam testing the profile dimensions of knowledge and comprehension application interpretation and analysis paper will sample proportionately all sections of the syllabus as outlined below and so yeah the paper one is it covers all aspects of the syllabus so 
if there's something that you don't fully understand in the syllabus, you're going to like test it. So understand it <laughs> before the exam. Yeah. So <laughs> follow follow the paper one. There's the paper two. In the paper two, we have you see that there's much more time to complete the paper two, which is three hours. The reason being is because uh well when we go through the past paper, you'll see the examination is a very lengthy examination. There's a lot of writing. Uh, there's a lot of formats that we need to, uh, a lot of, yeah, formats that we need to complete. So there's the, um, a lot of um, the financial statements, the T, T account you have to draw up, and it's just a lot of information. So they grace you over three hours, but still when you're in the exam, it might seem like plenty, but it's kind of short. And it is for 100 marks. So the paper two, the problem solving paper will test the profile dimensions. Again, we're looking at knowledge, comprehension, application, and interpretation of data in ratio one to one. We're going into paper three. Paper three one, which is the school-based assessment in which you will do in school this if done is for 40 marks and the details are later on which we wouldn't cover here and then after we have the paper three two this is the one that will be done in the january examination and we have a set of compulsory short answer question based on a case study and the details are given on page 37 but i'll give you the details here so the paper three two is uh, a case study so usually it is like one business in which they analyze different aspects of the business so first they might give trial balance and you need to do the income statements and after you have to calculate the, then after they give more information provision for depreciation you have to calculate um, the capital account you just have different aspects of this one business that you need to calculate and it's the paper three two consists of 10 questions in which you need to answer the weighting of the examination components so as we saw there is the knowledge and comprehension application interpretation and analysis as the profiles for the principles of accounting examination the paper one when weighted in percentage is 30 percent the paper two is 50 percent and the paper three is 20 percent right this however is how they will do the profile and when you get the results within the profile you'll see knowledge and comprehension you'll see application you'll see interpretation analysis and you'll get either a b c d or e based on how well you have done and based on that profile you know if you get well a distinction which is all is um a one in which we have mostly is two three and so on regulations for private candidates so private candidates must enter the examination through local register in their respective territories they're required to set papers one two and three all right so you cannot run away from paper three the paper three two is is a written examination designed for candidates whose research project cannot be monitored by tutors in recognized educational system and who have been assigned by the local register to write a paper 3-2 at a designated examination center. Within all that, regardless of you are in secondary school or not, you have to write a paper 3-2 for January exam. So we went through the three aspects of the syllabus in which we were going to look at. So now let's dive straight into the past paper.